Welcome back everyone. I'm Susan Anderson and you've tuned in to Susan So Creative, where it's only wrong when it doesn't work. This tutorial is being recorded. Uh, yeah. But I'm also going to use the recording feature in Pro Stitcher to show you how you can create new designs by recording the movements of your machine. We will be using a feature called Mark to record each point in our block design. So we'll be creating a block pattern, a continuous line, a border, and two corner designs. To create my brand new design using the Mark tool, I've gone ahead and first drawn out some design lines that I would like to use with my uh, long arm. To, this is the corner that I want to do, as a matter of fact. I just drew it out on a piece of paper. And this is going to just fit in here like so. So I've got an opening on this side, an opening on this side, and we'll do the border in a minute. But to do this, all I'm going to do is just trace it off the way I want it to be stitched. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my screen here. And we'll zoom in for you. There we go. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to work on is going into Pro Stitcher. We're going to hit record, which is up here at the very top. There we go. All right. Going to hit record. And then I'm going to choose mark. Now, before I touch the mark, I want to make sure my machine is directly over the position that I want it to recognize. So I'm going to start with, on my paper, I'm going to start by positioning this over the start point on my paper. Now, again, I can resize this to fit wherever I happen to like. So it's going to fit, or I'm going to make it fit very easily right down into my corner. So here's my first position. So I'm just going to touch mark okay and i'm going to resize that so you can see that it's got the dot in my first center okay we're going to go to my second position and i'm going to go up here and we're going to hit mark again i'm going to go to my next point and hit mark and in other words i'm just following my diagram that i've drawn out all the way around my design area. You could make this any way you would like to do. Mark is done with just a single point. So you're not stitching or doing anything on that level. You are basically just um, going on and drawing or marking particular points out that's going to make it stitch for you. And again, I'm just drawing this right out. And we're almost done. I got to go around the inside of the design area now. You can see now where that's coming through. And we're going to go here. And here. And here. Back over to the beginning. Looks like I'm going to have to move that beginning a little bit, but that's okay. We can do that too. And then I'm just going to take it all the way out to the end of my design. Let's see if we've got that in the pattern. And I do. So we're just going to hit it, hit mark there. So I've got my design. As you can see, I've already got my design all laid out so that I'm ready to have that put in or made into my corner. So I'm starting at the beginning here and ending out here at the end here. I could add, since I already have it, I could go ahead and add in my row, um, my repeating border pattern. I haven't programmed that in yet, but we can go ahead and do file and we can do save and we're going to save the design. Okay, so we're going to save selected this time rather than the workspace. And I'm going to save the selected and I'm just going to put in here, it says freehand, let's do freehand, uh, let's just make it freehand three, okay, and we'll save that. 
So now I've got that design done. All right, to do my border design, we're gonna do, uh, let's clear this out because I've got to program it again. I, again, I have gone ahead and drawn out my little design. It's kind of hard to see this one because it's only three inches in size and I made it to the size that it was going to fit into my design uh, on my frame or on my quilt pattern rather. And I've got a four inch border. Okay. I've got a four inch border. So I decided I wanted to put in a, a three inch design element. That's gonna give me a half inch here and a half inch out there. I may wanna make it a little bit bigger, but the idea is I'm going to just make it according to this. Now I could go ahead and just trace it off manually and go through and do it. It's just easier because I've got the angles already figured out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and trace off the design area again. It's gonna be the same as this, except I'm not doing this bottom piece here or this cross vertical hang here. So I could go ahead and start here and trace this off. Go back to Pro Stitcher, again, hit my mark. Okay, and we're gonna go up to my second mark. And my third mark. And this is just gonna follow all the way through. Now here, I'm gonna to have to come down all the way to here. This is my bottom point on this one because I'm not doing, it's not the corner. I'm actually doing the border at this point. So we're here. We're gonna go up to here. Yeah, like so. Back down here. Right in there. Back down to this one here. Back to the beginning. And then all the way out to the end. In fact, let's go over, let's center that. Here we go. Back out to the end over here. And you can see now where I've got my whole border traced off on my pro stitcher and I'm ready to go ahead and start stitching that. Now I could start lay out the whole border which I think I will do and we'll go ahead and make the design fit into this element. So let's get started. So I've got this design here I can go ahead and trace off or I can go ahead and just start it like I've got it here just click a, a dart in fact, we'll do that. We'll make sure the base is off, and I'm gonna go back to my Pro Stitcher. Let's turn that up here so you can see. And I'm gonna select Record, and I'm gonna select my mark. But before I touch my mark, I wanna make sure my machine is in the first position so that I can go ahead and start recording. Because once I hit that mark, Okay, it's gonna start recording each stitch as I go through. So let's just put one down. So I'm gonna hit record and hit mark. Okay, I'm gonna go back and scan over here so you can see where that going. Then I'm gonna slide my machine back up here to the top. And I'm going to show you how that looks on my screen, my machine down here. Okay, and I've got here right at the edge of my block here, so I'm gonna hit the mark again. I'm gonna slide over here to the side, almost on center, and hit it again. Come down here, and again, I'm following the design I drew out. I'm not actually tracing the design. I am following the diagram, if you would. Bring this back up so you can see what it looks like. So you can see how I'm, I'm following around on my fabric, but then this is what I'm getting on my screen. Mark. Basically, you can make this look however you like it to be or however you'd want it to be. 
just remember that when since you're making a block you want to start and end at the same position so here's my last point I'm just going to go ahead and hit mark now it doesn't look exactly like the diagram I drew out but you know what it's still good it works the diagram was just something that for me to follow and now I'm ready just to go ahead and stitch it out one more thing I want to point out once you get your design set the way you want to make sure that you save the file so that you have that so you can repeat it for your next blocks I had another block that I, I designed that I kind of like too for this particular layout um, but they're individual pieces it wasn't a complete or continuous block but I'll include this PDF file so that if you'd like to make the block for yourself you can now I'm going to move my the head of my machine over to the end of the design area it's gonna be kind of hard to see let me see if I can move the camera back over so you can see it there we go so I've moved my my crosshairs to the end of my sequence now I'm going to go back to modify reposition and I'm going to take the start point and pull it right in here and let's zoom in real close make sure ah, I didn't quite get it so we're going to nudge 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 get this to where it needs to be so it's sequential a little bit more there we go got it okay so now I've got this design uh, in line with my the rest of my designs go back so you can see so I've got everything here so I'm going to go up and do select okay and we're going to select the whole piece here so it's highlighted the entire piece so now my starts moved over to here from that last point going to go over here now if I try to skew that in here let's go modify skew and we'll do a border skew well that doesn't put it in the correct way because my start and point still go horizontally I want my start and point to go vertically so let's undo that let's rotate the design so we're going to go ahead and touch rotate I'm going to do 45 twice one and two okay and we're going to skew that directly in here so skew border skew and there's my design element already stitched in place so I am now ready to finish off my design take your time in getting this aligned to your previous rows of stitching either with resizing slightly if you need to rotating slightly if you need to and moving it into position it makes all the difference in the world Okay, I'm exhausted. Time for a little pick-me-up. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you picked up some tips on working with Pro Stitcher and recording new designs. See you next time on Susan So Creative, where it's only wrong when it doesn't work.